which seven ascendants will astrologically benefit from the energies of the upcoming year. That is what I share today. And first, a warm, warm welcome here on my YouTube channel. My name is Sylvia Suryodaya Krupp. I am a professional astrologer of Vedic astrology and I'm the author of a handbook about astrology. And I have already introduced astrology for hundreds of people. But before I start with the seven ascendants that will benefit next year, if you are interested in astrology and would like to have a weekly energy update, please sign up for my free newsletter. There you will receive a weekly prediction on the current energies that awaits us. The link for that you can find below this video. Vedic astrology is a completely different system than the Western astrology. In Vedic astrology the ascendant is of great importance but also the moon. Those are the most important reference points from where we begin to read a horoscope. How do you find your ascendant? Your ascendant is the moment of your birth, your birth data, and determines your entire horoscope. It is, so to speak, the starting point and provides you of important information about your personality, who you are and what your life purpose is and a lot more. And also the planet Moon is very important because the Moon represents your emotions and mostly how you perceive yourself and the world. So if you have a Vedic horoscope at hand, then you look to the box where you find the letters ASC. This is your ascendant and this is your first house, the starting point of your horoscope. And very important, you cannot use a Western horoscope for this interpretation today. That would change the result. You need a Vedic horoscope and if you would like to have one, you can order it in my online shop. The link you will find below this video. Okay, let's start. The first ascendant that will benefit from the star constellations next year is Aries ascendant. Aries currently has the planet Jupiter in the first house and that gives you a lot of optimism until the end of May. Lucky coincidences can happen. Even if you as an Aries Ascendant experienced a lot of transformation in the last two years when the eclipses happened in your first house and Rahu now is in your first house, but this will calm down from 2024 and you can use the positive energy of Jupiter to start new projects and to find more to your own inner strength again. You will feel a clear shift at the end of May 2024 when the planet Uranus changes signs after being in your first house for seven years. Your body will feel better again, not so much tension and literally not so much electricity that Uranus created and stressed you and your nervous system. If you experienced restlessness, this will calm down. And if you experienced a strong desire for independence in the last years, this will become somewhat calmer and you can approach things with more clarity. However, unexpected developments regarding 
money and finances could occur from June 2024. The next ascendant that stands out positively in the year 2024 is the ascendant Aquarius. Saturn, the planet Saturn, is indeed in your first house for the entire year, but it often brings gifts with it because it is in its own house and this often allows that it shows its positive side. But also karmic issues need to be healed and usually they show up as challenges in your life. And you get to learn to make a contribution to society with these constellations. The world needs you and Saturn will shape you. You may take on more responsibility, become more disciplined and this will bring you more respect and recognition. And you will be rewarded by Saturn for this. However, it could mean that your circle of friends reduces somewhat. But because Saturn is your chart ruler, you might not have so much friends, but you might have some good and old friends. The planet Jupiter is in your third house and will transit in your fourth house. And in the third house, Jupiter brings a lot of motivation, gives you the energy to fulfill your wishes and to success whatever comes in your way. And maybe for you it is important to learn something new and to expand your horizon. And later in June, when Jupiter will be in your fourth house, this can give you a good feeling, a good feeling coming home. And maybe your heart will open more and you will also be very important for your family, for guidance and for your advice. And this can bring you more happiness in your life and maybe a new or a larger home. The third ascendant is the Scorpio Ascendant. And you have said as a Scorpio Ascendant a difficult life task in general. And you choose the experience of transformation and change. A lot of ups and downs. You are really the phoenix that wants to rise from the ashes. And that is why in your life there are so many ups and downs. But when in June next year Jupiter will change its transit into the sign of Taurus and will be exactly in opposition to your ascendant, new people can come into your life who are important, maybe even a new life partner you have been waiting for a long time and maybe even someone who brings more money into your life. Rahu, the upper lunar node, sits in your fifth house and helps you to manifest great successes, either gains on the stock markets or maybe in cryptocurrencies or even with your own business. You have great ideas on how to make money. However, it could also lead you to a certain distance between your children. The next ascendant that will benefit from those planetary constellations next year is the ascendant Taurus. Jupiter comes to you at the end of May in your first house and shortly afterwards Uranus. That will turn your life upside down for a while, but in a positive way, if you are open to it. Jupiter is in your first house and can, however, lead to a bit more 
body weight. So you should be careful about what you eat and especially how much you eat. Your intuition will become much stronger with those constellations. You will feel very energetic. But sometimes there may be also the feeling that you want to develop your independence very strongly and maybe also a certain restlessness may set in your body. It is important to maintain balance so that you feel good. But if you pay attention to it, seven great years with Uranus can be the result in your first house. Jupiter gives you optimism, healthy self-confidence, you feel happy and you are truly fortunate for at least one year. The next ascendant that will benefit greatly from the energies next year is Capricorn. Jupiter is in your fourth house and will change into the fifth house in June. And those two houses, they harmonize very well with the planet Jupiter. This will bring satisfaction to you, maybe also a larger home and a good relationship with your mother. And in summer, perhaps a romantic time with your partner or a super good time for a new romance. With Uranus in your fifth house, this could happen completely unexpectedly and sweep you away like a wave, a romantic wave. <laughs> By the way, it is also a good time for conception of childbirth and also successful investments. Rahu is in your third house and gives you great creative talent and ideas. The next ascendant that has especially good constellations is Pisces ascendant. Rahu changes into your first house and helps you to be powerful and charismatic. You will be very robust health-wise this year. Perhaps you will be drawn abroad far from your actual home because you feel that something is waiting for you that's important for your own development. With Jupiter in the second house, you already became more prosperous in the last year 20 or in the uh, actual year 2023 and you feel an uh, inner fulfillment in your family. However, you should also be careful with food and not overeat. Jupiter changes in the, at the end of May in your third house. And then this can bring you uh, interests in learning new topics, discovering your own artistic abilities and talents and um, maybe also you will start to be a teacher for others and uh, it will increase your energy and you can more achieve your wishes much more easily. And the last ascendant is Libra. Then especially from June onward, good energy awaits you because Jupiter changes into your eighth house and could bring you money, for example, in the form of an inheritance or an insurance payout or banking gains. Jupiter is now in your seventh house the, the first few months until June and this brings luck and contentment and a sense of togetherness in partnerships. Saturn is in your fifth house and helps you to take responsibility in your life and tackle the really important things to manifest a successful life. That may also include hard work, but Saturn will equally reward you for your efforts. 
So there was the small analysis of the seven ascendants that will have great opportunities astrological in the next year. But that does not mean that you have no luck if your ascendant was not mentioned here. And I plan to do an even more detailed analysis next month for all 12 ascendant for the year of 2024. And I also plan a numerology analysis for the year 2024. So you should definitely subscribe to my channel and share this video with other like-minded people. In this spirit, all the best. Namaste.